Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Buying Beachfront Property Overseas for Less Than $100,000. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show to help spread the word about the show. Now, let's get started. As the economy and the culture and the safety in the U.S. continue to decline, a lot of people are considering or planning on moving out of the country. Or at the very least, get a second residence for a plan B just in case it comes to that. And a growing percentage of people are concluding that it has now come to just that. Now, if you haven't traveled abroad, then you'll need to do a lot of research before you pull the trigger and actually buy some real estate offshore. But before we delve into the specifics and the details, here is what we can tell you. With just a few hours of research, we found a large number of beachfront and coastal properties that are beautiful, affordable, and safe offshore. These prices range from 60,000 to $100,000 depending on the country and its culture and its economy and its crime rate. Many of them are right on the water. In fact, most of what we saw was on the water given our search criteria. So here is the interesting part. In some places, you just don't get a house on the water for these prices. You actually get a passport or a citizenship in that nation when you make a real estate purchase. That may sound like a a smaller consideration, but it is not. It is a larger consideration, given what a lot of experts uh, continue to believe uh, the direction of the economy and the culture is going in here in the U.S. So what are the criteria and factors you should consider when you think about buying uh, in these places? Well, first of all, it's the price. The price per square foot is something you should compare to other real estate opportunities in other areas, other nations. Next, you want to look at how low the crime rate is in your targeted destination. A low price means nothing if you're going to have serious safety concerns and problems when you get there. Next, consider how many tourists and Americans are in your targeted city or country. You want to live in a nice area where at least some of the tourists and expats may speak a little English. If not, then you want to live somewhere where the language is relatively easy to learn. If not, then you can always use an electronic uh, language translator on your phone. Next, you want to live somewhere where the economy and the banking system are stable, at least as stable as the U.S. And by the way, that's not saying much given the direction a lot of U.S. and financial systems are going in. They're not going in a very good direction. We recommend that you leave most of your money in the U.S., but uh, uh, arrange it so that your U.S. bank can uh, routinely wire or transfer uh, money to your destination country on a regular basis. You should also arrange to set up your credit cards so that they work both in the U.S. and in the foreign nation you you, you plan to move to. Next, you want to go online and do tons of uh, serious research. Google headlines like 10 places to purchase a beachfront property for less than 100,000 or less than 150,000 or less than 200,000 and then start shopping and comparing and researching. You'll be amazed at what you find. Here are some things to consider. Just as beachfront or waterfront property in the US is dropping in price, so are the prices offshore. Now, no matter what the realtors in your destination country say, they're all going to try to apply pressure on you and say that you should act quickly, make a decision quickly because prices are going up. Uh, In reality, what you should do is talk to other realtors, do more research online, and talk to people who who already live there, expats who've already moved there. Get the opinion of other people and online sources to see what the actual and real life pricing trends are in your destination nation. Next, you want to go online and watch videos posted by other Americans who are now living in your target country. Do searches for people who are happy after moving there and also search for videos posted by people who are not happy uh, after they have moved there. You'll be amazed at the real life stories, facts and things you'll learn from them that will surprise you. Once you narrow it down to one or two serious contenders, 
then take a vacation down there in each of those destination countries. This will give you much more insight than just looking online for information. Next, you want to Airbnb a location down there for a week or a month before you actually commit to buying or renting down there. Consult with a number of real estate agents and a lawyer to see what the law is regarding the ability of Americans to purchase property in your destination country. Believe it or not, there are actually some countries like the Philippines where an American cannot purchase land or a home by themselves. They need to have a Filipino spouse to own 60% of the property and if they get a divorce, she will retain controlling interest in that home, not you. Even though you may have paid for all of it, she will retain controlling interest post-divorce. This means you're basically paying uh, for somebody to have a house on your money. Do exhaustive research before you go down there, but most importantly, make sure you plan out everything financially so that if it doesn't work out, you can always return back to the States and live there in your old home. That means don't sell your old home, just rent it or leave it vacant or have a, a relative house it in the home for free while you're overseas. Good luck. Thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Thank you, and we shall talk to you soon. Bye-bye.